welcome back to another Wednesday Roundup. What do we got today? Well, we did the DTO2, so I figured we might as well do its four-wheel drive counterpart. What does that mean? It means we've got well, a DFO3. So this is the Keen Hawk. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Keen Hawk, they did the DFO3 on, uh, what was it? The Avanti Mach 2 or the Aero Avanti? One of those two is a DB, uh, DFO3. They did uh, M Dark Impact, which we all know and love. They did the DFO3 MS and then the long lost brother. I don't think they did this one for very long. And I don't know why, because I absolutely love this body. A lot of people hate it, but I love it. The Keen Hawk. Uh, you don't see these come up too often. Uh, I actually bought this one on Baye just for the shocks. But then I figured, what the hell? It already had running gear in it and everything. And I've always wanted to run a DFO3. So this is the one we're going to run. Uh, it's got a silver can in it. I'm not even sure what the speed control is. It's one of those like see-through purple ones. Um, I'm not sure if it's a Novak or a Volak or what it is. And then uh, it's got a Futaba steering servo in it. I'm not even sure which one. So let's, uh, let's give it some hell. We've got it running on 2S. I don't expect it to be very fast just because it's a silver can. Um, I'm just hoping that it's fun. And then it's got the, the uh, high density TRF buggy tires on it as well. So let me get up in the driver's stand and we'll get this one going. All right. Not even sure when the Keen Hawk came out, but I know it's uh, relatively old. It's at least 10 years old. Full wheel drive, if I didn't say that. Whoa, I'm already off the track. Let's see if I can get it back on the track. There we go. Wow. I forgot how slippery these high density tires were, even in four wheel drive. All right, it's gonna take a lap or two to get my bearings here. I turned the steering rate way down on this too. This track really needs a full spike tire. The track is a little bit damp, but not crazy wet. Whoa. I should have put a full spike tire on this thing. You know what? I'm going to go get some new tires. Oh, let's see. Maybe we can get it going. It's literally like driving on ice. Whoa. What happens is the clay packs into these tires and they don't self clean like you would think they would, not like a full spike does. And then once, once they're packed, it's literally like driving with a slick on. I'm gonna get some tires. I'll be right back with some full spikes. Right. She's got yellow sneakers on now. So these are the wheels and tires off my Laser ZX. Way better. Way better. Tires make all the difference.
They are rubbing just a little bit on the front tires. <laughs> the offset's different. So that's probably why we have lackluster speed, but that's all right. We have traction. This is a great little buggy. Dark Impact for the money is a great entry level four wheel drive with a modern day feel, right? Still, whatever, 13 years old or whatever. I still haven't been able to clear that tabletop, but that's all right. So we'll see this car again. We're gonna put a peppier motor in it and we're gonna put a different set of wheels and tires on it. And we're gonna see this thing rip on the track. I said it in the DTO2 video that Tamiya obviously thought something of this platform to, to do the MS versions of it. And then the Dark Impact, they actually did that white version. I've got a white one in the glass and I've got a white new unbox kit. Super hard to find now. So they had fun with the DFO3. Obviously nothing new as of late, but they uh, it's a platform that they played with a little bit. They did a rally version, a DFO3 RA where the kit actually came with the dark impact body as a dust protector for the chassis. And then I can't remember if it's an Alfa Romeo. Boy, tires make all the difference in the world. All the racers out there are saying, yeah. <laughs> That's all this track surface needs is just a little mini pin, like a like top force, like a square spike, which is actually, that's gonna be the tire I put on here for good. Cause those run great on this track. Sun going down. Came down earlier and blew all the acorns and leaves off. Still have some weeds down there, but no big deal. Won't be long. I'll be leaving for Australia. And then when I get back, I'm gonna have about a month or so before the ground starts freezing and the snow starts flying. So, We'll have to see how we make out here with Wednesday roundups. I don't know what I'm going to do while I'm away. I got to ship my my radio. <laughs> like this week, at my radio is heading to Australia. So I'm going to have to use Caleb's radio and have him come down and try to film it maybe. Because I do this all by myself. But I, I'd like to get you guys some more running videos before the year is over. I know we got one more two-wheel drive for sure. We have a build and a running video car I just finished. If you guys follow my channel, you know what it is because I did a post on it a few weeks ago that I was building it. But yeah, we're getting ready to pack everything up. The double X4, the Laser ZX, the uh, Shoemaker Storm 2000, Top Force Evo, and a Tomy Intruder are all heading down under. I don't want to fly with all that stuff, so I'm shipping everything beforehand to Jason's. But I want there to be plenty of time, so I'm shipping it early giving it six weeks essentially to get there even though I'm shipping EMS and it should be there in five or six days but 
I gotta ship tools, tires, radio gear, cars, shirts, hats, stickers, banners, clothes. When I travel, I only wanna have to have a backpack, like a camping backpack or a hiking backpack on. So I really want the majority of my stuff being shipped. That way I don't have to worry about layovers and changing planes and all that garbage. 24 hours to get there in a plane. Got a five hour flight from here to LA and then a 15 hour flight from LA to Sydney. And then once the bash is over, I'll pack everything up and I'll ship it home before I fly home from Australia. That's my plan anyway. Great car. The Keen Hawk. I only found this car literally like two months ago. I was on Baye and I saw one and I was like, what the heck is that thing? And I thought it was an Arrow Avanti. And I'm like, that's not an Arrow Avanti. I'm like, what is that thing? So I zoomed in on it and I saw the manual, Keen Hawk. I was like, what the hell? And this might even came with a pre-finished body because they're all the same. They're all that m m mirror, metallic. Um, every, I've never seen a Keen Hawk done in a different body color. But I've only seen four. So <laughs> I've seen four for sale, four offered. That's all I've ever seen. And I ended up buying this one. And they go relatively cheap. I think I paid like... 140 bucks and it came with full radio gear and the DFO3 original DFO3 shocks I really can't go wrong for that price especially with this much fun all right one more we're on about 10 minutes of runtime here and I'm just holding it wide open so it's got to be getting hot. I know it hasn't been the best speed wise, but for you guys, but at least you guys can see the potential of this chassis. DFO3, baby. Oh, there we go. A little rollover for you guys. So many hop-ups for this car. Metal everything, carbon everything. Sky's the limit. Slipper clutch. Now this doesn't have anything except the shocks, but you can get slipper for it. You can get a one-way for it. You can basically doll it up however you need to or want to if you want to take it to the track. I think if you did, Dull it up and put a quick motor in it. It would hold its own, no problem. Maybe not against like a Yokomo or something, but. Something entry level, sure. What a great little rig. All right, one more. Can't stop having too much fun. I need to stop though. I got one more car I got to run tonight and the sun's going down. Ooh, we caught a weed. So that's going to do it for this Wednesday roundup. The Tamiya DF-03 Keen Hawk. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think of the DF-03, what you thought of the run. Look at those shocks. Beautiful. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.